morning, guys, and welcome to Logan Nation. My name is Marco, and I'm just taking the second exit of Sapan Taksin BTS Station. Why? Because today, I'm going to take you guys on a journey on the Jiao Priya River. Follow me. There are four different colors for four different routes, but today, we're going on the orange one. It's 15 baht per stop. We just arrived at the Oriental Pier, and it's as if we stepped through a portal back to the colonial times. The building behind me, the Venetian-style building, was built in 1901. It was the headquarters for the East Asiatic Company. Now, it's no longer in operation at this current building, but the building can be rented for events, photo shoots, and weddings. The building is currently being used for the BAB, Bangkok Art Biennale. It's held once every two years, and it's a non-profit-free organization. Artworks will be held all along the Chao Phraya River. Let's have a look at the first stop. The entrance to the BAB is right opposite the Mandarin Oriental Hotel. The Bangkok Art Biennale is a non-profit foundation with the sole mission of fostering recognition and appreciation of contemporary art. Nope, can't do it. A two-minute walk away from the East Asiatic building is OP Place. Right now, we're at the OP Place. It was the first shopping mall in Thailand built during the reign of King Rama V. It used to import goods from abroad and sell it to the Thai public. But as time went by and the economy transformed, it's now a place to sell Thai goods and antiques such as sculptures, artworks, and silk. This neoclassical building is influenced by European architecture and was awarded the Architectural Conservation Award in 1982. Opie Place isn't just a shopping mall. There are two large rooms called the Jilla Nakhon and the Jilla Nakung, which can be rented out for events, seminars, conferences, and even weddings. Right now, I'm standing in the Jilla Nakhon room. It's being used for the BAB. The concept for this year's BAB is beyond bliss. Each artist was asked, what is your happiness? And the artworks are an interpretation of their answers. Next stop is Wat Arun. We arrived at Wat Arun, also known as the Temple of God. When you arrive at the temple, you buy the tickets in front. If you're a foreigner, it's 50 baht per person. But please keep in mind to always dress properly. Wat Arun is one of Thailand's most famous temples and is the most photographed temple as well. It was completed sometime in the 1600s, but it was rebuilt by King Daksin after he fought his way out of Ayutthaya, which was overrun by the Burmese army. He arrived at the temple just as dawn was breaking and he vowed to rebuild it. Wat Arun features a 70 meter high spire decorated with tiny pieces of glass and Chinese porcelain. Around the base are figures of Chinese soldiers and Chinese animals. Visitors at Wat Arun should also walk here to take a photo with the two iconic giants. Legend has it. The purpose of them being here is to take care of the area around here, but their arch nemesis is right across the river at Wat Po, which we're about to go check out. Across the river to Wat Po, the ticket costs 4 baht. Find a ticket at Kumap Puak Pier. Right at Tatian Pier, there's a market where you can buy all sorts of things, from food to accessories to clothes. When you arrive at Tatian Pier, Walk straight through the market and head towards the right hand side. The entrance to Wat Po will be right across the road. Wat Po 
or the temple of the reclining Buddha is in one of the largest temple complexes in Bangkok with an area of over 80,000 square meters. Another part of Wat Po. There are four pagodas in the back, which represents our four kings from King Rama I all the way up to King Rama IV. As you can see from the colors, it's more colorful when compared to Wat Arun. Wat Po also houses a school of Thai medicine and it is also known as the birthplace of the traditional Thai massage, which is still taught and practiced at the temple. Tickets to enter the temple are 100 baht for foreigners. Next stop is Tha Maharat, a famous rendezvous point. It's just a short taxi ride away from Wat Po. Tam Harad is a famous community mall which attracts tourists from all around the world. It just so happens that today is the first day of their weekend market and I'm going to take you guys to have a look at it. The purpose of this feel-good event is to welcome winter and the Christmas festivities. The event will be held from today onwards, November 30, up until the end of the year, December 31st. If you want to come here, we suggest coming 4 p.m. onwards because that's when everything is set up. For days with no event, the second floor is a very popular spot to come in the evenings. This is because people want to watch the sunset. We're heading to Icon Siam right now and we're taking the 50 baht boat. And here we are, the final destination in our Japya River journey. This is Icon Siam, a 54 billion baht mixed-use development that comprises two luxury condominiums and one large shopping mall. Icon Siam houses the first Apple flagship store in Thailand and boy I can't wait to go check it out. Icon Siam's exterior design is influenced by the Thai Gratong. The Gratong is a bowl made of leaves used in the Thai culture to pay respect to the water spirits. At Icon Siam, the Gratong was transformed into an abstract and contemporary form surrounded by glass. It is now the longest glass building in the world and a never-ending symbol of respect to the water spirits of the Chao Phraya River. From the outdoor rooftop terrace, you can see the Magnolia Waterfront residences and the residences at the Mandarin Oriental Bangkok, two super luxury condominiums which are part of Icon Siam and also the tallest building in Bangkok. Rooftop Terrace gives you a nice expansive view of the Jao Phraya River. Isn't it amazing?
When traditional restaurants get boring and you want to experience something else, head to the ground floor. It has its own floating market. The Takashimaya department store is a full-scale Japanese shopping mall and you can only find it in Thailand at Icon Siam. It's as if they carried an entire shopping mall from Japan straight to Bangkok. The gold BTS line is being constructed right in front of Icon Siam. It will link up to the green BTS line one station away at Grung Tonburi BTS station. The new BTS line is due for completion in 2019. Behind me is the grand opening of the Christmas tree and the lights at Icon Siam. From now on, until the end of the year, Icon Siam will be illuminated through the night. If you're around here during winter, this is the place I would recommend you guys come and check out. Anyway, this marks the end of our Japria River journey, and we hope that you guys had a great day. Today was non-stop and packed filled with everything from cultures, art, history, to food, ending up with supreme luxury. If there are any places you want us to check out next time and take you guys around, please leave a comment below. My name is Marco, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.